Is your hair dull and brittle? Can you not go more than two to three days between your wash days? Well, if you feel that what I said is correct about you, you might benefit from this routine. This is a healthy and bouncy hair routine that focuses on the health of your hair and extending your wash days as much as possible. These are the results after the first day. So I slept with my hair and this is how it looks right now. And I absolutely love it. My hair is extremely bouncy and the whole purpose of this routine is to really extend your wash days and to have the most bounce and definition and softness as possible. This routine really gives me that. As you can see, my hair is extremely bouncy and healthy. If you want your hair to go from looking like this to looking like this, just keep on watching. My hair is a mess. There's definitely a situation happening here. It is dry and brittle and oily at the roots. Um, very frizzy, as you can see. This is day six or seven and I definitely need a wash. <laughs> Let me show you exactly what I do to keep my hair really bouncy throughout the week. Okay, so what you will need, you'll need a spray bottle, a protein treatment that you like. Um, I find that this really gives a lot of bounce to my hair and my hair loves this. Um, so I use this a lot and I use this almost weekly. I would say every two weeks and a hairbrush, preferably not dirty. <laughs> the way I like to start this is just by separating my hair into two parts. And now take your spray bottle and you're going to wet the hair. Start slow, don't soak it too much where it's really drippy, just, just start slow. I like to start wetting my hair from the root because that's the easiest part, the least knotted part. And after you feel like you have sufficiently dampened it. You're gonna run your hands through it. Make sure that the water gets everywhere. I'm gonna take my mask. So I don't take too much. I'm going to scoop up just a little bit on my hands. This is gonna be for one side. I'm gonna rub it in like so. And I'm going to start from my ends and work my way up. And there's no need to slather your roots with this. Your roots are probably not very damaged. That's the same for me. My roots are pretty healthy. And the main problem for me is my ends and my mids that are always frizzy and lose their shape quickly. I'll definitely add a little bit more, but I want to start by brushing my hair out. I'm going to use my brush. I like the wet brush and I use that all the time. I use it for styling too. Use whatever works for you. I also like Tangle Teaser for brushing. Um, the Tangle Teaser works amazing, actually. It's, it's perfect for curly hair. So yeah, use whatever you have. Definitely something flexible. You don't want to damage your hair. You need flexible bristles. So let's start brushing. I'm gonna start with my ends. Now the great thing about doing a, a pre-treatment, like a pre-wash treatment, is that you get to brush your hair before you're in the shower. So then your showers are shorter and you do less damage to your hair when you're brushing it in the shower and it's fully soaked with the conditioner or deep conditioner or whatever you're using. Your hair is so fragile. And when you do this outside of the shower, you can really take your time and work through your strands and really see how to be as gentle as you can as to not damage your hair. And then your showers are so quick because you don't really need to brush your hair in the shower. You kind of just run it through again a few times and your hair is detangled. At this point, my ends are detangled, but the mids are still very knotted. So I'm going to dampen my hair just a little bit more, focusing on my mids, and then apply a little bit more mask, just a little. So now, after my hair is completely detangled, it's really easy to just brush it back. I'm gonna brush it back. We're going to take a big hair clip. I'm going to kind of like just twist my hair like this and clip it up. 
Um, yeah, so this is gonna sit in my hair for at least an hour, sometimes even more, a few hours, sometimes just however long. 30 minutes is also good if you're short on time, but I'm not, so I'm gonna let this sit for a while. My hair is in a bun. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a few hours, and for you it's just gonna be a minute. So, bye bye. Hi everybody, it's a few hours later. My hair is freshly washed in a bun. I just want to quickly mention um, the products that I used in the shower and just a little bit of what I did in the shower very quickly. So I removed my mask in the shower. The mask was in my hair for a little bit over an hour and a half or two hours. After I removed my mask, I went in with my favorite shampoo, which is the Red Can Volume Injection Shampoo. I shampooed twice like I usually do. And I also use this little um, scalp scrubber exfoliator thing from Tangle Teaser. This is a new addition to my routine and I quite like it. Not necessary, but makes it a little bit easier to get into all of the nooks and crannies of your scalp. So I like it. After I shampooed twice i went in with my also favorite deep conditioner this is the ava new york city therapy session hair mask really love it i actually use this more than i use a regular conditioner i just find that it gives me the right moisture and hydration that i'm looking for regular conditioner um, which i have from this line i love um, but sometimes i need that little extra moisture especially when my hair is getting longer my ends are getting even drier than they already are so definitely need that extra boost of hydration that is what i used in the shower and i detangled in the shower with my deep conditioner and it was a blessing because it took me literally two minutes and no effort at all which is why i love doing the pre-wash treatment so yeah now i'm ready to go ahead and show you what I'm working with. So this is my hair freshly washed. So overall, my routine usually consists of three to four products, not more, because my hair is fine. I don't want to weigh it down. And I also use pretty light moisturizing product. And then I go in with more thick and defining gels and mousse. So let's go ahead and start. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to brush out my hair because it hasn't been brushed since it was washed and it's still pretty wet. I would say even a little bit too wet. So I'm going to brush it thoroughly and then I'm going to quickly give it a little squeeze to get the, the drippiness out of the ends. I like to section my hair into two sections um, and I'll show you exactly how I do that. So I go in from a little bit below my temples. So if my temples are right here, I go in like right here and I section this part. You see? So I section this part. So now I have a bottom section and a top section. And the top section, I'm going to just put away for now. I'm gonna work with that much later. And now I have the bottom part of my hair that isn't too thick. I don't have a lot to work with when it comes to the bottom part of my hair, but I'll show you what I do. To start, the first thing that I do is I section the bottom part into three. And to do that, I go with my finger. I literally do this type of um, shape with my hand and I go in right behind my ear. And then I section a part that's right behind my ear, like this. It's a very thin section, but I find that this is the best thing for me. This is one section. And then I have this part of my hair that's at the back. I have been using this product in my styling routine that I think is working quite well for me. This is the Ava New York City uh, Main Magic 10 in 1 Split End Mender. And I use that as the first step in my styling routine. 
I literally pump the tiniest bit on my finger like this and I go in sections. So the first section over here gets a little bit and I put that mainly on my ends and a little bit on my mids. And I take it a little bit up, but only whatever I have left in my hand. And this part gets it too. And the back part of my hair also gets some. Um, now that I did that, I'm just going to quickly brush it through each section. So the next product that I'm using is a leave-in conditioner. It's the Purology Color Fanatic Multitasking Leave-In Spray. And this one works incredible. It's a spray, it's lightweight, smells incredible. And it gives me exactly enough conditioning and hydration um, without weighing my hair down. So one section gets a few sprays. Next one. And the back part also gets some of this spray. And then again, I brush it through. So now that I have the sections and I put in the split end bender and the leave-in spray i'm going to use a gel the gel i'm going to use is the we dad advanced climate control anti-frizz heat and humidity gel this one is like a medium hold there's another one of these that is um, a stronger hold but i find that this works perfect for me because i am going to follow it up with a mousse which also gives hold again i do this by sectioning i'm putting very little for each section because it is little sections here that are pretty thin and fine so i don't need too much and now i immediately go in and style this part the way i like to do it on the sides of my head is simply brush it through and then go in from the bottom hold the hair in the brush and then just go like this and this gives me a lot of definition and some volume. A little bit more gel, and I'm gonna take it on the other side. And again, the same thing, I brush it a few times, and then I go in from the bottom and directly out, give it a small, tiny little shake. And that's it. For the back part, it's a little bit different. What I like to do is to section the bottom part a little bit more so that I'm not just like flattening everything at the bottom. So I section it into two sections. So I take the bottom part and I go in like this. I just section it into two sections. And this part I leave on the side and I go in with the bottom part of it, put a little bit Again, just very little of the gel. And then I run it through the back like so. And for this part, I also brush it through and then I go in from the bottom like this. And now for the upper section, I take a little bit more gel in my hand. For the amount of gel that I use, because my hair is, again, fine and medium density, I really use a pea-sized amount for all of these sections. No need for more. So I make sure to coat this part and then I run my brush through one more time. Like this. And now the bottom part is very defined. Now we only have the top part of my hair to deal with. It dried out just a little bit so I'm going to quickly I'll spray it with some water. For this part, it's different. I take it to the front and I, I brush it all to the front. Now, I'm not going to do it completely. Like, I'm just going to do it a little bit just to get that water through my hair. And then I'm going to go with my split ends mender and put a good amount, like a nice little pump of it and run it through the ends and mids. After this, I'm gonna brush it through. And what I'm basically doing is taking all of this hair to the front, um, making sure it's brushed completely. So I really just go in and brush it this way, make sure it's all brushed upward. So now my hair is brushed to the front. I'm going to go in with my leave-in conditioner um, without sectioning just yet. And I'm gonna spray this ends, mids, and basically everywhere, but I don't really spray this on my roots because I am brushing my hair after I spray this in, so it's gonna get on my roots anyway. Now I'm brushing it again 
one more time. Now this is the tedious part where I'm going to go section by section and brush style with my gel. First section, I go in from the back and I take a section. And usually when I section this way, it's too big. So I see how much hair I have here in this section and it's quite a bit. So I want to kind of make this section thinner and I think that this is quite good. I would even do a little bit less. I'm taking a little bit of my gel in my hand, running it through like so. So I make sure that really all the strands are coated and then I go in from the bottom and I brush it up. So that's the first section that we brush styled. Now we're going to continue. I'm taking section by section another section. So I'm going to do this with the majority of my hair and then I'm going to come back and then I'll show you what I do with my bang area. Okay, so I am finished with majority of my hair, nice and defined. Now I'm going to do the bang area. This part is pretty long, but I like to define it just a little bit more than I do with other parts of my hair. So I'll show you how I do that. I like to section this part into two. So I go in the middle, straight across, and I'm left with two sections. And one section gets some gel. And I do the same thing with the section. So instead of going from the bottom of my hair, I go from the top like this, and I put my brush down and I just do the same thing and I pull it away from my face. And with this part, I take just the tiniest amount of gel, again, pea size, nothing more. And now what I do with this part is I just take it across like this. So now to define this part a little bit more, what I'm going to do is look at where these curls want to go and I'm looking at exactly how they're separated and I define them with my finger. So I'm going to put a little bit of water on my finger and I'm going to see. So there's this part that's separated. Take a little bit of water and it already has gel and I'm just going to finger coil it. Now this part, I'm looking and it's already separated. So I'm going to take it and finger coil it. And I just like to see where my hair naturally separates. This part is kind of all together. I'm going to take all of it. And now the last part, the last curl. So if you don't want to take your time on the front of your hair on the bangs, you don't have to. You can just literally style it the same way I showed, but I like to do this. And that is it for my bang area. And now for that extra volume and definition, I really love this mousse that will add some hold. I like to use the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Multiplying Volume Styling Mousse. And this one is specifically for um, fine hair. It gives body and um, medium hold. So I shake it up. And the way I like to do it is not by scrunching. I'm not a fan of scrunching my hair because I find that it kind of ruins the curl pattern that I got through brush styling. And if I do scrunch, products into my hair, I get more of like a wonky type of curl, which is not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to flip my hair upside down and I'm going to apply this just by, um, just with a prayer hand type of motion. So I'm going to put a good amount like this. I'm gonna flip my hair very gently because I don't want to ruin whatever I did. And then I'm going to start by applying it and I'm just going to put my hair to the side and apply some more and now the other side and I'm really gentle I don't want to ruin the shape that my curls have already I'm really just trying to give that extra hold and volume but I don't want to ruin whatever I did now I'm going to flip back work a little bit on my front and just give it a little bit more. And that is it for styling. 
is how my hair looks. It already has a lot of definition, um, already has a slight cast, which is what I'm looking for. So as I'm drying my hair, I want that cast to continue forming and I want the whole of my head to be in a cast, um, which is exactly what's going to happen because I can already feel my hair getting a cast. I'm going to diffuse my hair in the way that I like to do it. And I'm gonna come back and show you the final results, but I'm also going to finish it up with you with some oil and I'm gonna show you exactly how it looks. And yeah, we're almost done. <laughs> I diffused my hair and I think my hair is completely dry. It has a beautiful cast, so I already know it's going to be good. Um, as you can see, this is um, still with a cast. So yeah, this is super defined, but I don't wear my hair like this. I like to take some oil and kind of break the cast and then I get these fluffy, bouncy curls that this routine creates. I'm really excited. The first thing I like to do to break apart the cast and also to give my hair a little bit more body is just to shake it. Sometimes I do it with my fingers. Sometimes I don't do it with my fingers and I actually just shake my head, which is what I'm gonna do right now. And if I feel the need to kind of shake up my roots afterwards, I will do that. Okay. And now for the final step, Finishing oil, that's a must for me. I always um, finish up my um, routine with uh, an oil afterwards, just on my ends and mids to give that extra shine, to break apart the cast. So I have two oils that I like to use. One is the Verb uh, Ghost Oil, which I adore. I love this one, I'm almost out. So this one I like to use, but I also have the Kerastase um, Elixir oil, which I also like, and I feel like I should probably use that one right now. It's not bad, but I honestly, like, this one is a lot cheaper. I'm pretty sure, like, that I think that this is almost $50. Maybe I'll have to double check that, but this one is a lot cheaper. And it's lasted me for a long time and it gives amazing results and it gives amazing shine and it doesn't weigh down my hair and it smells amazing. And this one doesn't have as much of a smell. It's okay. Um, gives a good shine, um, but it weighs down my hair just a tad more. And you know what? I'm going to use the Verb Ghost Oil because you just I just can't get enough of it. I'll get one and a half pumps and I'm going to rub it between my fingers and the way I like to do it is just to kind of smooth it over and then I flip my hair over and I'm gonna smooth smooth it on the back a little bit and now this is the part where I scrunch my hair to really break that cast and um, kind of work the oil into my ends a little bit more I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean when I say defined and soft and really bouncy. Very, very bouncy. This was my routine. I hope you enjoyed and found it helpful. This routine always makes my curls just pop and look the best they can. So I really, really hope that it will work the same for you. And if it doesn't, let me know in the comments. I would love to know how this type of routine with a pre-wash and this method of styling works for other people. Um, possibly with different hair types and curl shapes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. If you want to see more hair routines and videos like this one, like my video so I know that you enjoyed. And yeah, thanks a lot guys and I'll see you next time.